So the website that I'm going to talk about is called Adobe Spark. So I chose this because um, I really like using it to create um, handouts. They make really like clean looking and professional handouts. So um, I used this to create the handout for their, the exceptionality project. Um, and I think that it can be really useful for students to use in your classroom to make maybe like all about me posters or make a poster about math or make a graphic organizer about, you know, the lesson that we're using is maybe like a review project. Um, it's also something that as a teacher you can use to make um, handouts either for students to look at or handouts that describe events so like prom or club meetings or study days or um, just any kind of like graphic that you would want to share with your students. Um, so you just find it by googling um, Adobe Spark in Google and you can just sign in using Google. You can also use like any of the other apps. They do have um, you do have to pay for certain features, but for the most part, um, it's free to use. So some things you can do is you can have students make videos or you can make a video. I personally don't use the video part of this. I prefer just using iMovie and making my own plan, but it might be easier for students because it does um, lay out um, what you might want to do and um, it's a little bit maybe easier for them because it, you know, gives you pages and what do you want or what theme do you want and all of that. Um, but I personally like it just for making graphics. Um, I'll just go to the all here. So, something that I like are these flyers. These would be something that you could post in your classroom. Maybe just to make a, um, you know, like a cute poster for your classroom or make something that's informational for students. So let's go with this one. And we'll pretend that you're going to maybe make one that is like study party after school. And maybe you have these and every... Um, week when you have a test you put these around your room on Monday or even in the hallways so students see them all the time so, so that they're aware that there's you're studying after school with students. So one thing that I like is it's really easy to just mess around with the font sizes and make it as big as you want and move it around wherever you want and it also helps you line things up with those blue lines. Um, so we're going to put it here. Another thing that's cool is you can add kind of like a secondary font. So you can maybe you want the study to be like more emphasized. So you can change that font to be like a different one. And then um, that is your normal one. And then changing the spacing, you can change how wide the letters are. So maybe you want it this way. You can fit things in. So like study, party after school. And maybe I'll put it back up here. So now here is where you're going to want to add text. So you double click to add text and we can write maybe like come study with me after school on Tuesday and Wednesday from 3.30 to 4.30. And we'll make that bigger. And then we can change this font to to maybe make it more like that study font. And then if you go to color, we can change the colors on it. So it'll give you current colors or suggested ones that match the theme. Or you can just pick whatever color you want. So maybe I want it to be like lime green, which doesn't really fit in to the. So now there is this graphic on here that I don't want. So I can just still click on it and delete it. And um, maybe here then in this text box, I want to put test on Thursday, um, maybe like 920. 
um, for unit one so that they know that this study session are for the test on September 20th and for unit one so they're not coming to you can also get rid of these if you don't like them or maybe like the squiggle is weird so you delete it and change that up another thing you can do is you can add things so you could add a photo if you want so they have their own so maybe you could search like math and see what they have so maybe you want to add this the only problem is they just let you put it in like the whole thing so you can't just put a small picture of it anywhere and that I would say is probably one of the um, cons of this is you can't you know add your own pictures in but you can change like these shapes so maybe I want this to be a cube you can also then so if I don't want this image I'll just click on it and delete it and then um, change this to uh, so then you can add icons which are any of these kinds of things so you can you know add smiley faces so these you can add and move around so if you can find one that is related to math maybe um, then you can edit the color of that too to make it shape and so then maybe you didn't want this on there um, keep this delete this off of there put this here and keep this on there and then when you're done you can share it so you could share it with your class by giving them all of this link or you can share it with other teachers so that they can have it instead of printing it out then you can have it um, or you can download it as a picture or as a PDF and then that way then you can also share it as a file or it prints better when it's in this format um, I think that's it I think the main thing is that you can use this to create really cool flyers for your classroom students can create cool flyers for you um, and it's pretty easy to use and format and play around with text um, play around with the colors play around with the alignment and the size um, and movement and you know you can pick a template but usually once you've messed around you end up changing what you wanted to do so that's Adobe Spark.